a final word. In 2003, Mike Weir won the Masters Golf Tournament, probably the most prestigious golf tournament in the world. To defeat the world's best golfers required skill, determination, and hard work over a long period of time. But above all, it required an attitude. When Mike Weir was 13 years old, he wrote a letter to Jack Nicklaus, at that time the world's number one golfer. Mike, who was a left-handed golfer, asked Jack if he should continue left-handed or try to switch to being right-handed, since almost all successful professional golfers were right-handed. Jack was gracious enough to reply, saying that Mike should stay left-handed. In other words, he should follow what was natural for him. Drungze, the Taoist philosopher who inspired our crooked tree logo, would have said the same. What impressed me about this story is Mike's commitment. He believed in himself and felt it quite appropriate to ask the world's greatest player, whom he did not know, to resolve an important question for him. He dared to write to the king of golf, and the king sent him an answer. Powered with that sort of attitude, Mike was able to overcome many obstacles and finally achieve greatness in his chosen field of endeavor. You have read about the attitudes necessary for successful language learning. You have a description of the effective techniques for acquiring language skills. You know what has to be done. Now it is up to you to believe in yourself and do it. If you create the right habits, you will succeed. The rewards will more than compensate your efforts. Once you start learning languages, you will not stop with just one. At The Linguist, we will be continuing to add languages, while at the same time working to improve the range of content and learning tools we offer to our members. Come and join us. I look forward to getting to know you at www.thelinguist.com. TheLinguist.com, the power of language.